Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Zixradium, and we are playing Dyson Sphere Program. So, today, uh, on continuing our journey uh, to the O-Type Star, we are going there. We are setting up our carrier rocket launchers, and we're going to set up some power generation, and we're going to set up some um, sail shooters. What are those called again? EM rail ejectors. So that's what we're doing. So do we have any power? We do. So off we go. So we're just getting infrastructure set up today. Um, more than likely uh, we won't be building the Dyson Sphere. Uh, that'll probably be a dedicated episode. But we can get the infrastructure set up for building the Dyson Sphere and we can prepare for power generation. Uh, I figured we were going to be generating a lot of power here in this particular, uh, off this particular Dyson Sphere, and we can use those, that antimatter to power all of our factories from now on. So, um, we're going to consider what we can do about that. We have 97.7 .7 building area. Uh, let's see, is this the planet we're gonna want? I think it is. Let's check this one out real quick. Oh, there we go. Oof. That thing is bright. I love being able to see the uh, the ships warping in the background. That's really cool, in my opinion. I really enjoy that. All right, what do we got here? 87.4 construction area. Hmm. Lots of iron. I got a feeling we're gonna be setting up some mining outposts on this planet. But that's for a later episode. <clears throat> All right, so we're gonna use this one over here. So off we go. I'm going to cheat and use a warper to do this trip. And took about 3 AU off the journey. Okay, so we're going to want to put a 
a lot of this infrastructure near the poles, I feel like. Um, oh, our inclination was more than I thought it was going to be. I must have missed something, did I? Oh no, it's just the camera, the way the camera rotates around, okay. Alright. <clears throat> Head up here to the North Pole. There we go. Perfect. I should have brought some solar panels. Oops. Well, wind will do. now just to get us started So this is going to be the basic logistics tower for this planet. And our power grid is probably crying. Yep, pretty darn close. Alright, what do we need? We're going to need a proliferator, so... Actually, what do we? I don't think we do. Wow, that's a first. Alright, well... We definitely need small carrier rockets, and we need solar sails. I brought the solar. Oh well. Alright, so we need to build Where do they go? Here they are. Alright, we need some of these. Now these suck a lot of power, so I don't know if we're hooking up to the power right away. But we need we're doing four small carrier rockets per second, so per second times 60 is 240 per minute, and these guys launch at a rate of five per minute. So, where'd my calculator go? That's not it. There it is, calculator. So divide by five per minute, and we get 48. So we need 48 of these? Let me do that again. 4 per second times 60 seconds gives us 240 per minute divided by 5 per minute. Yeah, we need 48 of these to, to tap out our, our launching capability. So, and they suck a lot of power, so I don't know. I probably won't be able to put that many down right away. We are crossing a line of latitude. You know what, let's put these down a little farther south. <coughs> I believe small carrier rocket launchers don't require line of sight. I don't think they do. <laughs> so 
So for now, we're just gonna put down... How much power do these use? megawatts. So it's our power grid on this planet. Power local planet is not a whole heck of a lot. Do I have? I don't. Can't use those. Alright, so we're building out some more of these guys. This is, the, the wind turbines are temporary, just to get us some power going without, because I mean, basically I don't want to bring in a truckload of, or a shipload of, um, Deuteron fuel rods, because, like, we're not going to use them that long. Like, once, once we get a piece of the Dyson Sphere up, then we'll be generating power via the Dyson Sphere, we can use ray receivers to collect it. And five per minute is like really, 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 really slow. So, Mark One inserters, it is. Whoops. We're gonna unstack the knees. Maybe we will. Hmm. Let's go ahead and leave them stacked for now. stuff. Where are our solar cells? Are we not producing solar cells? Oh, they're not on my list, I bet you. They are. We are producing a lot of them, actually. Huh. Here 
coming in. Used up the warpers. Let's go. Yeah, I wonder if we're not producing enough. All right. Well, let's get our EM rail ejectors going so that we can actually get some power going on here. So, there's some EM rail ejectors. We only want to power one of them right now. Alrighty. Then we want to put up some of these guys. stack this. Go ahead and up this well. That way we can carry lots of them. I don't think that's actually necessary, is it? Because four per second is plenty for this belt. So we don't want to connect that just yet because we're not producing enough power. It's not impossible. So, all right. So now we set up an orbit for the Dyson Sphere. Okay, so let's 
Can we edit this orbit? Can we delete it? No, I can't. Okay. Cancel. I want to edit you. Let me edit you. Okay, well, I guess I can't. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and add orbit. Have let's make it thirty. And let's shrink the orbital radius a lot. No, I'm sorry, we're gonna make it huge. That's right. Because the most surface area, the the bigger the orbital radius, the more surface area there is to the sphere. And so we're gonna make our sphere with a giant orbital radius as well. Uh, so we want the the solar sails to be relatively close to the to the sphere so that it's faster to. Um, it's faster to populate the shells. Sure, okay. So we're going to use Orbit 2. That's what we're going to use. And yes, we do need this because we need power. Oh, there we go. We got some sails incoming. Nice. Alright, so we're going to use number 2. Yes, I know you like solar cells. How do I do this again? Like that. Looks like we might have to. our EM rail ejectors and curve around the other direction. Alright, so we can actually go ahead and add these because I forgot they'll just... They'll basically just suck up all the power the Dyson Sphere has. So, And at this point it's not so much the Sphere as it is the Swarm. Oh, it uses these lenses no matter what. Interesting. So hopefully our solar sails show up here and we'll get some power going. Vessel coming. Potentially. If we knew which one to look at, that was. Is that is that it right there? Oh, it looks like it. that's going to be a safe bet. If you're wondering what's over here, this is the black hole. It's got, um, it's got polar magnets, which you need for, um, for the super furnaces. Or, not super furnaces, the, what is it, the plane smelter? Yeah, the plane smelter versus the arc smelter. Oh, we got two of them now. Nice. I don't know that we want to do that. There we go. Let's try that instead. Alright. Oh, there. Is that it? That's it. There we go. So, can we fire? Pitch limit. Okay. So, we can't. What's our rotational speed? 573 seconds. So. Uh-oh, 
Did we pick a bad spot for this? I hope not. Pitch angle is getting worse, not better. Huh. Oh, are we tidally locked? No, we're not tidally locked. I wonder if I just picked a really bad spot for the EM rail injectors. Still getting worse, not better. Well, that's not promising. Well, what about what about this one? Okay, that one we can do. Interesting. We can't do the other one. Oh, I wonder if it oh if it's the plane of that orbit is too far above the elliptic to fire into, I'm, I bet you that's the problem. <clears throat> Alright, so we're getting some power. Very nice. And we're back at the pitch limit. Interesting. Alright, well, in the meantime, we can get some more of these guys running. Oops, that, is, that was wrong. Let's try again. range.
wonder if we're too high on the planet. I wonder if these are better on the equator. episode. Thank you all for joining me today. We'll give this another shot in the next episode, and I hope you'll join me for that. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe, and if you enjoyed the video, please like it. Have a great day. Bye.